It's the 13th of December, it's part two, and yes, it's a Sunday. And on today's show, I'm holding a Game Boy accessory day. Oh, well I was. Well, welcome to another instalment of Video Games and Consoles from the Loft. And today, yes, I'm holding that Game Boy Accessory Day. Two items are extreme classic add-ons to the Game Boy, and the third item is rather rare, rather unusual, and always splits public opinion into whether it's any good or just a load of rubbish. Well, I hope that's grabbed your attention. So let's kickstart this Game Boy Accessory Day off with the Game Boy Camera and the Game Boy Printer. Well, for a start, both of these items were released at the same time during the year of 1998 to be used with any of the Game Boy systems. The marriage of the two items together allowed you to create fun and wacky photos using great software where you can add stamps, create stickers and even feature yourself within built-in games. The Game Boy Camera, also known as the Pocket Camera in Japan, came in five different colours and also there was one limited edition camera in gold. The camera also held the record in 1999 for being the world's smallest digital camera. As for the printer, well, this only came in one colour and was also known as the Pocket Printer in Japan. Uh, the printer allows you to uh, print off your creations on three different coloured reels of paper and also the printer was on the heavier side as it was well known for using those six double A batteries and did not have an AC adapter port. Well, we'll come to that a little later. That's the background info, so let's take a closer look. Well, as you've seen already, both the items are boxed and this is the Game Boy Camera box. And yes, mine's in yellow. And as I said before, there were five different colors that you could pick up. Uh, it's quite a small and light item and it has the same shape as a cartridge, game cartridge that you can just slide into the back nice and easy and it fits in nice and snug. You can turn the camera around as well, uh, 180 degrees. So you can have it either facing you or away from you. And here is the Game Boy printer and inside the box it contained everything that you needed to get set up and use it straight away from the batteries to the game link cable and even the printer paper. Inside the battery compartment you need to fit six double A batteries and it actually makes this thing quite heavy once they're installed. Underneath the printer cover You'll need to fit your reams of paper which slide in nice and easy. You have a feed button and a power on and off switch. The Game Link cable provided has a double end connector so you can connect it up to a Game Boy Color or a Game Boy Pocket and it's nice and easy and straightforward and we're ready for some gameplay. Well, we're all set up now and ready for some gameplay and here comes Mario dancing away at the screen there and it's a nice introduction to uh, the actual software itself and it's so easy to use. You've got shoot, view and play um, and if we have a look at shoot is what we want to do because we want to take a picture of myself. Uh, there are several options. You can even set a timer and several other options as well as I said and here's me taking a nice photo of myself. going to pose nicely for the camera. Oh, that's lovely. Poke your tongue out. Brilliant. Take a quick snap and then we can start editing my photo and we can go back and now we can move to view uh, where we can have a look at a slideshow or the album and we want to go to the album and here's the picture that I've just taken and now we can use um, the Game Boy camera editing tools to uh, make my picture look nice and beautiful and pretty before we print it off and uh, as we can see I've made myself look like a pig and uh, right now we're ready for some printing so we move to print and so you can as you can see this software is so easy to use and you can have lots of fun with it and you can spend 
ages, quite a few hours, uh, editing your pictures before you print them off. And uh, I like the way how it prints them off nice and quickly as well. But unfortunately, my printer is losing its quality. Uh, but still, it prints them off and uh, I can cut it down now. And I can also use my pictures as stickers for a collage. And uh, this is just great fun. Well this really is classic stuff from Nintendo, two cracking add-ons to provide you with great entertainment and also gave the Game Boys extra life. If you fancy picking up a Game Boy camera, it should also be noted you don't necessarily have to pick up the Game Boy printer as there is an add-on CD-ROM package you can pick up which allows you to upload your pictures from the Game Boy to your PC and then print them off on just a regular printer saving you money on those expensive batteries. Well, from two very successful add-ons to the Game Boy, let's check out this huge, rather unusual, Game Boy Booster. Well, this large and bulky accessory was created by Saytech, who were founded in 1979. The company are a worldwide company, and they're actually becoming one of the world's fastest growing brands in producing PC protocols from keyboards to mice to game controllers. And at some point, Satek created the booster for the Game Boy, but I'm not entirely sure in which year, maybe in 1997. And the Game Boy booster was created to boost every aspect of the Game Boy to enhance your video game experience when playing your Game Boy games. Well, that was the background info. So let's take a closer look to see if it did just that. So let's get a better look at the booster and here it is, as you can see it's a rather large item. Underneath you can fit up to about four of your games in the cartridge storage compartment. You'll need to fit four uh, C batteries in the battery compartment but there is an AC adapter port on the side there. You have a great magnifying glass which has two lights, one either side which folds away into the back which is nice. You have a switch on the right hand side for turning it on and also you can turn the power on with the light. You have your usual controls just like the usual shape of a Game Boy. On the right there you have your external connector so you can uh, link up your Game Boy. On the left there you have a storage compartment for your headphones and so you can adjust the contrast on your Game Boy. And now as you can see we can slide away the front compartment and place in the Game Boy. We can connect the Game Boy up to the mains adapter within the booster and we can also connect in the bottom plug for stereo sound and then it pops in there, place the cover back on and now we can look at some gameplay. Well, let's see the Game Boy Booster in action. As you can see, the lights have come on within the magnifying glass and we've got the game loading at the moment. I'm playing Tetris. I'm sorry you can't see the game all that well, but at least you can see how exactly this uh, particular accessory is working. I mean, it's got that great um, analog stick instead of using the normal controls within the Game Boy, which I think is just absolutely brilliant. The A and B work extremely well to marry up with the Game Boy underneath and the sound also you would have noticed is, is very loud it really does boost out a lot of good sound I'm using the magnifying glass as you can see and if you've used the magnifying glass you'll know how it works and it really does sort of uh, enhance the game very well well I'm not entirely sure what I think about this item I mean it does exactly what it says it's supposed to. I think its main problems are its size and it's not really futuristic enough. Although, I mean, you've got this great big screen with the light, you've got the extra analog uh, stick controller, you've got great sound, you've got a storage unit underneath and also you can connect everything up together and power everything in one with just the use of one AC adapter, which I think is a really nice touch. So do I like this accessory? Well, yes, actually I think I do. But I'd like to know your opinions and I'm holding a poll, so let me know if you think it's bad or good. And in two weeks time, I'll let you know the results and then we'll finally sort out a public opinion whether this is any good or no good at all. Well, it's that time of the show again where we look at how much these items will probably cost you. And if we talk about the Game Boy camera and the Game Boy printer, you'll possibly be able to 
pick these both up for less than £10. It just depends whether or not they're in the boxes and come with the instruction manuals or not. As for Satex Game Boy Booster, well, you're probably looking at anything from £10 to £30 or $10 to $30. Once again, it just depends whether or not you can find uh, a box or instructions for it and depending on the condition like mine, which is nicely yellowed. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed this second instalment of Season 3 from Video Games and Consoles from the Loft. And if you don't happen to catch any more of my videos before Christmas, I wish you a happy and safe Christmas and Happy New Year to you as well. Well, I'll be back next weekend, next Sunday for another instalment and I really hope that you'll look forward to that too. Have a great week and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Right, now stay. Uh-oh.